Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, I would like to show you how to create a digital clock using Python. So in order to create this digital clock, we need two libraries, one library and one module that is a tkinter library and another one is a time module. So already we have seen this date time module in the previous sessions. I will provide you the link in the description section. You can go through that link for knowing about this time module. So first of all, uh, let me install, I mean, let me import the tkinter. So in the tkinter, we are having a lot of uh, classes in order to use all those classes. I'm using this command from tkinter import star so that all the classes will be imported. And now I need to import the time module. I'm giving some alias name for this time so that all the functions of this time module will be uh, used, I mean, accessed with the help of this uh, alias name. First, we need to create one object for a class TC, which is available in tkinter. So I will create a DC, DC means a digital clock is equal to. So this is a method which is used to create an object for this class. And through this object, I need to access the function called a title. We can, which will give the title for the window. So I will give the title as a digital clock, right? And again, we can create a, a dimension of the window which is to be displayed. DC dot geometry which will create the dimension so here you need to give the width and height i will give you the 500 by 100 the width and in order to execute this one so we need to execute the main loop we need to call this function if you execute this one so automatically a window has been created you can observe this one so this is similar to the applet uh, in java so if you are knowing about the java you, you might be knowing about this one so similar to that applet, so one window will be created and here we have given the digital clock. So this is the title and this the dimension of this window will be 500 into 100. And now in this place, we need to uh, display the time. So in order to display the time, so I will create one label. So label, there will be a label function. So in the tkinter, we will create a label function. So L is equal to label. Okay. And here uh, we can pass text is equal to welcome and this will display on the window only when it is packed so when it is called with the pack function so l is equal to label text is equal to welcome and if you go with the pack function then only it will be displayed on the screen i mean on the window so you can observe here welcome right so if you are not using this pack if you are not calling this pack so that will be not displayed on the window right and we can change the font style background and all these things. So I will show you. So here we can uh, give, just give the object DC for which object we need to display. And then font style is equal to give the style font style. I will go with the Arial. Okay. And 25 font. And the next parameter background color. We can also give the background color. Background color is equal to so I will go with the black and also foreground color. That means font color FG is equal to, I will go with the yellow, right? Now you can observe, if you execute this one, you can observe the background color is black, foreground color is uh, yellow and the font style is Arial and the font size is 25, okay? Now in this place, in this particular text is equal to welcome, here we need to give the date. For this one, I will create some D is equal to time. We have given some uh, t as an alias name t dot strf time so string from time okay it will convert the time into a string so we can give the format in which we need to display so here i will give so percentage d which gives the day hyphen percentage m which gives the month hyphen percentage y which gives the year comma and percentage h which gives the hour percentage m which gives the minutes percentage s which gives the seconds and space percentage p which gives the pm and a so i will pass the d instead of this welcome right so if you execute you can observe here so 14 5 2021 20 55 and at the time we have executed that is a second 14th second so we need to update this for every one second okay we need to update this for every one second 
for this purpose we will write one recursive function when recursive function so def time is a recursive function and we will create here uh, the d and l dot config we need to insert this into a label okay so here text sorry text is equal to d and you need to update this time for every one second right so for this we need to give the recursive call l dot after there is a function called after and here you need to give the seconds how many after how many seconds it should be executed and i am giving the time function so i am not giving the parentheses if you give the parentheses it will execute only one time so if you are not giving the parentheses the multiple times it will be called okay so just go with this one and we need to call this time right so i am calling this time function and execute so you can observe here so for every second the label the string i mean the date will be created and that will be inserted in this position so so it, it gives uh, it shows the seconds is changing right so after every one second after every one second the label will be updated with the time right so you can observe here so you can also increase the size font size so give the 45 and execute see it doesn't fit to the given window so i will go with the 800 bit and execute so you can observe so this is a clock digital clock right it's a very simple thing so we need to create one label and we can give the font style font size background color and a foreground color and then we need to update the time for every one second so that's why we are just writing the recursive call in that recursive call we are taking some time and that is converted into a string and that string will be passed to the text and it will be configured to the label and after every thousand milliseconds that means one second the time will be called so that that's why after every second the label will be i mean inserted with the a new text right so like this we can create the digital clock right hope you enjoyed the session if you really enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much